Welcome in this session. We are going to learn about PostgreSQL PG underscore reset wall command. There are two parts of it. Uh, one is the demo part and another is the presentation part. So to perform the demo, we need an EC2 instance which we have already launched. And I'll just go ahead and click the details. So this is the private IP. I'll pick it up and put it over here. And this is the public IP address through the public IP address. This is for the previous version. This is the mobile XTERM tool to connect. It is it works like the putty only. Locate your private key. And we say this is PG reset wall demo. Switch to the root user, clear the screen. And our private IP address will be used at certain places in our uh, uh, demo. So everything is uh, scripted only. I just have to put the IP address so that my host name is bound to through this IP address. And the second part of it is also through it. So let's go ahead and uh, launch the EC2 instance using the public IP address, which we have already logged in. The first part of the uh, demo is you just go ahead and install the Postgre binary. This is the first part. Once the binary installation is done, we just go ahead and uh, switch to the Postgre operating system user. This entire course, which is uh, available uh, here on courses.emultiskills.com, it's being uh, rewritten for the newest version. The latest version is PostgreSQL uh, 16 that's been released uh, last year. So uh, most of the part has been written and slowly the other parts are also getting written. So if you just wanted to access, you have to uh, subscribe to this particular one. This is a paid uh, portal one only. So you have to take a one time uh, subscription of this. This is about the end of the Postgre binary installation. Once it is done, you just go ahead and switch to the Postgre operating system user. Switch, clear the screen. And from here onwards, there are some of the things which we do. We uh, change the remote access. Now you should be able to remotely access and there are other things also we load some data that will be used to generate some of the walls that will be required and then finally we see where is our data directory so this part is it's going to take some time in the meantime what we will go is we'll go ahead and have a look at the presentation so it's all about the pg underscore reset wall so to pg underscore reset wall uh, before learning about PG underscore reset wall, we need to understand what is wall. We have a dedicated lesson on that. Wall is uh, right ahead logging, and uh, this is the most important crucial part of PostgreSQL. Uh, the data which is being updated before getting written to the data file or before getting saved to the data file, it is uh, written into a file which is called as the right ahead logging, and it is used for the consistency. And in case there is an instance failure, it is used in that case of failure or the crash. What is the purpose of wall in PostgreSQL? So whenever you uh, uh, do a transaction, let's say insert, update, delete, or anything, the information or the changes before getting written to the data files, it is returned to write ahead the log file. In our case, it is on Ubuntu. 22.04 PostgreSQL version. So this will be written into your PostgreSQL data directory inside that you have pg underscore wall and you will be able to see those wall files that over a period of time they get uh, generated and you will be able to see this. What is the function of these wall files in our demo when we are uh, uh, pushing so much of the data using the create table or insert a statement it is going to uh, generate lot number of the transactions in terms of wall files which are uh, 
there in pg underscore wall so if the instance gets failed or terminated or something like this happen uh, unlikely in that case the changes are written over there and it is going to be recovered from there now what is pg underscore reset wall pg underscore reset wall is a utility which is shipped with postgresql installation and as the name says it resets the transaction log file which is right ahead login and it is related to the uh, control information in postgresql cluster when do we use this this command is typically used in disaster recovery scenario this is very very rare scenario or when you want it to start fresh with a new wall that means you already have an existing environment and you wanted to make sure that you start with a new wall that's very unlikely the wall is critical component of the postgresql which is required for the durability and crash recovery mechanism it has the record of all the changes that has been made to the database and if the archiving is enabled all the past transaction logs in the form of wall they will be uh, saved to some location these wall files also provide the ability to recover the database to a consistent state in the event of a crash or system failure so we are always talking about there is a crash in the database there is a system failure and in case you want to recover it what are the advantages of pg underscore reset wall this is one of the most powerful tool which is uh, shipped with the postgresql installation and it what it does it simply resets the right ahead logging which is a transaction log file and it is normally used what we have spoken it is normally used during the disaster this is one of the case when you want to start fresh with the new wall what are the advantages fast recovery in case of database crash or corruption it has already happened and there is no way to recover it the pg underscore reset wall command can help you quickly recover from uh, database failure by resetting the wall files this can save your valuable time and minimize downtime there are pros and cons that you are going to lose the data clean start this is one of the most important motive when you want to start with the clean state the pg underscore reset wall commands it allows you to reset the transaction log files but what why would i recommend that this is just to remove all the previous transaction history and start fresh space optimization these wall files consume remarkable amount of space depending upon what kind of operations you have performed and the logging which is enabled a significant amount of the disk space is utilized by these wall files and if you are using pg underscore reset wall then it can reclaim your disk storage by resetting the wall files and starting with the new set but this is not the best way to remove the wall files data privacy in some cases you may need to ensure data privacy by securely erasing the transaction logs instead of using the rm command the pg reset wall command can help you achieve this by resetting the log files and preventing any potential data leaks it is something when you share this data with your vendor and you do not want to keep anything inside your uh, transaction log files which is pg1 what are the disadvantages data loss when you are using pg underscore reset wall all the data which is securely or unsecurely stored in your transaction logs they will be discarded it means that any unapplied change or transaction that were not returned to the data files you are going to loss you are going to lose that information and this is a case of data inconsistency and there is a potential data loss as well let's talk about the inconsistent state when you are resetting the right ahead log file it can leave your database in an inconsistent state if there were any pending transaction or incomplete operation at the time of resetting database may not be able to recover properly leading to errors and corruption lack of point in time recovery 
by resetting the wall files you lose the ability to perform point in time recovery that means you have reset it and there is no point to use the point in time recovery uh, which is used to restore the database to a specific point in time it is crucial in the case of data corruption or accidental data donation limited use case there is a very limited use case wherein we should use it this is never recommended this is one of the case wherein it has to be used when there is no other way left out should we use pg underscore reset ball in postgresql no doubt this is very powerful so any power comes with the uh, uh what do you say the baggage as well so when you use this it is going to reset your wall files and the transactions which might or might not be required in your wall files they will be resetted and you are going to lose every information which is there in the wall file you cannot do the point in time recovery whenever we try to use pg underscore reset wall it has to be used with great caution the command can only be used as the last point before using pg underscore reset wall it is recommended to try any other method which is used to recover the wall file corruption you can try some others if it works for you if you decide to use pg underscore reset wall make sure that you take a backup of your database using pg underscore dump and you are assuming that when you run it it is going to corrupt or it is you are going to reset everything and you are going to lose the data so if we conclude pg underscore reset wall should only be used as the last option and this is not the suggested way and it is always recommended to consult the documentation and you should take some expert advice if you are trying to use this is there any alternative to pg underscore reset wall when you are saying it is very powerful it is very dangerous of course there are some other which are before that it's not the last stop the pg underscore reset wall is you are going to reset it there is an alternative which is called as point in time recovery so you should have the pg underscore based backup available which may or may not be if it is not then you are already at the last point to perform the pg underscore reset point in time recovery can be used by applying the pg underscore base backup and all the wall files which are required after that this method is safer and more controlled compared to the pg underscore reset wall what we actually do in point in time recovery we have a dedicated lesson on this wherein we take a valid backup of the database using pg underscore base backup and then we take a backup of the wall files which are there in the pg underscore wall but simply by enabling the archiving so that they will be stored in some uh, different location depending upon the uh, versions you take some other step and you should be able to restore your database in point in time recovery how do we use it we see simply pg underscore reset wall is a utility then there are different options which can be used we just mentioned the location of the data directory and it is good to go the pg underscore reset wall come command performs the these tasks what it does it resets write ahead logging it removes all the existing so this is very dangerous the number two and it initializes a new wall file segment and sets the transaction log number to something like this and now what we are going to do with the demo we already loaded the data it is like this you have to stop the postgresql cluster you have to note down the location of your data directory then you just have to say pg underscore reset wall mention the location of the data directory it is going to perform the resetting of the wall file and this is what it does it so we have so much of the data this is the data directory navigate to this location so everything is scripted you just have to copy and paste and if you just navigate to pg underscore wall if i just say pg underscore wall directory navigate to this and just say ls hyphen ltr these are the different wall files available which are 16 mb each inside i just want to reset it 
I haven't taken your backup. You can just take your backup as well. And first of all, if you just say pg underscore reset wall, you may not be able to find it. It might not be in your default path. So let's find this pg underscore reset wall depending upon the version of your installation. In my case, it is Ubuntu and this is the location which is being noted over here. And if you just say pg underscore reset wall hyphen hyphen help. You will be able to see the different options. You have the data directory location and uh, it is going to reset your wall files. If I simply try to run this, which is pg reset wall with full location or you put it the entry in path and I mentioned the location of the data directory, it will say that your PostgreSQL cluster is running. We are supposed to shut it down first. Let's shut down it first and then we are going to try it our all files are here and let's try to reset it once you reset it right ahead log reset done there is no file pending in your so at this point you cannot perform point in time recovery your data is lost which is there in wall and it is just like a fresh database wherein data inside the database is still available but your wall file has been reset all the data which was there in the transaction loss file that has been lost and if you are picking a backup using pg underscore dump you can restore it and that's how it is going to work there are several other lessons wherein you just copy and paste the commands and you will be able to learn it very fast